If you use a dedicated storage device for your Steam library, whether it's an internal or external drive, you may have turned on your computer only to find none of your games installed. So to solve this issue, we're going to use Disks, a utility which comes pre-installed on both Ubuntu and Linux Mint. The first step is going to be to give our drive a name, however before we can do that we actually need to find our drive, and in my case I happen to know it's this one right here and it's easy to find because I've already named it from a previous tutorial I did, but let me show you a quick and easy way to find out if you're not sure which one it is. What you want to do is open up your drive in a file manager and then just right click and go to open in terminal, and in my case I have to enter a password, you may not, and right here in the blue it should give you the location of where the drive is mounted. So this location is going to correspond to a location in the disks app. It should say right down here under contents, mounted at. So if you have multiple drives, in my case here you can see I have three different 500 gigabyte drives, and again, in my case they're all already named, but if you just have three 500 gigabyte drives and you're not sure which one it is, just find it in your file manager and then open it up in a terminal, and then whatever the terminal location says, the correct hard drive will be the one that corresponds to that mount point. So now that you know which drive you need to work with, the first thing we're going to want to do is come to this gear icon here and go to edit partition, and it should come up with this little window here, and you should see a field that says name, and you can see here I already have mine called game drive, you can call yours steam games, game drive, literally any name you'd like to give it, just make it something that you know when you see it, yes, that is where my Steam games are. And once you have your name filled in, just click change and it will name your drive for you. Now to change the second and really final thing you need to do for this, you're going to come back to this gear icon menu and find down here where it says edit mount options, and now when it pulls up this window, everything should be grayed out because it's set to user session defaults, but that's not what we want, so uncheck this, and you should now have all these options available to you. Don't worry if you don't know what any of them mean, you don't need to, and you're really only going to mess with one, maybe two of them. The first one, and the one that you might have to change, is right here, the very first option where it says mount at system startup. You need to make sure that this is checked. By default, I've never seen it not be checked, but just make sure it is, and this makes sure that your computer is actually able to access the drive after being restarted or turned on. And then, as long as that's checked, you just come down here to where it says identify as, and by default this is just a seemingly random string of characters with the drive's UUID number. This is not very easy to memorize, which is why we named the drive in the previous step. So you'll just click on this drop down menu, and at the very bottom there should be an option that says label equals followed by whatever you named your drive. Click on that and hit OK, and it's probably going to ask you to put in a password because you are changing permissions. Put in your password, and we are now all done with disks. And the third and final step is going to be to open up Steam and tell it, hey, this is where my games are. So to do this, you're going to come up to the corner where it says Steam and go down to Settings. And once the Settings menu pops up, you're going to come down to the tab where it says Storage with a little icon for a hard drive, and just click on this little plus icon here. And your drive should just show up by default. If it doesn't, you can go to Let Me Choose Another Location and find it based on the name you gave it earlier. Click Add, and you should now see all of your games show up, and they should now be playable. Now a quick little disclaimer about doing this is that on Linux, Steam will only create a menu shortcut icon when you first install the game on that instance of an operating system. So for example, the fall I had installed on a previous computer and I moved it over. So if I go and I search for it in my applications menu, you can see there's nothing there. However, if I go and search for Counter-Strike because I installed it on this computer, I have a little app icon here that I can just click on. So just be aware, you know, if you have a ton of games on here and you're used to just pressing the super key and then searching for it and hitting enter, you won't be able to do that. You will have to actually open up the Steam app and then go to your library and click play. It's a couple extra clicks, but not a big deal It's if you have a really big library.